Install recovery is an example of the use or utilization of CO2 for economic benefit. So what's normally done when you drill an oil well and you pump all of the oil that you can out of the well, there's still a lot of that oil remaining, but the oil is just tightly bound to the rock formation. So what you can do is inject liquid CO2 into that depleted oil field, and the liquid CO2 will mix with the remaining oil, and a lot of that oil you can pump to the surface. So that's what we're going to demonstrate here is enhanced oil recovery, recovering oil from a depleted oil field using carbon dioxide. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is in this jar with the two tubes coming out is to create an oil reservoir. So remove the lid from that, you guys. And you'll add your rocks to this. You want to add the rocks up to about an inch from the top, from the top of the uh, of the jar, you guys. Fill the rocks up to about an inch from the top. Slow down. Calm down. They're putting it in there. So it's long. And then you just put an after seltzer in there, and that's what caused the bubbles to come. You made, it. You made one of those? This, this long tube, you got to work it all the way down here. So see if you can take this thing, and you might have to tilt it sideways, and see if you can get that all the way to the bottom. We should have put the tube in first. Well, it's hard to, you got to put the rocks in first. Right, but you need to get the tube down. Okay, so that looks like that's pretty good. Well, he got theirs down. It was full. So when we add our vegetable oil, we're going to fill up your oil reservoir. The next thing is we need 350 milliliters of water. What we're going to do now, we have your oil reservoir. This will represent our CO2 injection well. Okay, so injecting CO2 into our reservoir. So in this jar, we need to add 350 milliliters of water. All right. Where's my pourer at, man? You did a great job. Give me 350 milliliters, buddy, right to here. Okay. See that 350? Pour right up to that line. Nice. Very good. You got it. No, it's not just a Dump it in there, bud. And then put the lid on it. Okay. Go around and, and get the rest of them for me. What you want to do is all at once, you want to put all six of those in at once, but get that lid on the jar really quickly after you put the six tablets in, okay? So you want to drop them in here, kiddo? And that CO2 is going to force the oil out of your oil reservoir into your bottle. Can you see the oil coming out of your reservoir and collecting in your bottle? Is it working? Yeah. That is so cool. That's cool. I can see it. I don't even see the oil spilling out. So this is the difference between a bean spoon and a bean spoon. Man, this is working. Holy cow, you can put 20 ounces on it. Hello? Are they all working? The lid on the way. Whoa! Whoa! Ours is done. Ours is done. You can get it all the way to the bottom. Huh? You can get it all the way to the bottom. No way. Done? The long pipe. Oh, no, please. Oh, 
One, two, three. Dump, dump them in there, man. So this will recover part of the oil after you've pumped all the oil you can out of a reservoir. So what are you doing is pushing the oil out of it? It's exactly.